Hi, welcome back to Hannah G Knits. I'm Hannah. And I'm Abby. Thanks for watching. Okay, so today we have a special episode. This is my sister, Abby. She is joining um, to just answer some questions we got on Instagram and talk about what we're working on. Um, yeah, so Abby. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. We have some uh, some sleeping boys, so <laughs> hopefully they will all will sleep for a while. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming. Yep. And you want to start by telling us what you're wearing? Okay, I'm wearing the very V neck by Just May. Oh, Just May. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I love it. Um, I modified it in two different ways. Okay. I raised the v-neck okay and it worked out it looks great and then i um did like two rows of decreases um like every other stitch i think for the sleeves to get more of like a bell sleeve which you can't tell because i have it over a button up but um and then tight for tighter ribbing because in the pattern as it's designed it doesn't have like any decreases in the sleeve and they're just like why oh, wait those are bell sleeves yeah i wanted it to be like tight at the okay. wrist um which i think i could have done a little bit more increases but I didn't want it to, or decreases, but I didn't want it to be too tight. Oh, that's um, great. Oh, what yarn did you use? It is Knitting for Olive um, Mohair, Rose Clay, mm -hmm. and then Ampersand Fibers. Um, they're fingering in um, Pompadour, I think, one. Oh, okay. Um, and I think it's a size medium. And I really love it. I didn't do the mohair on the cuffs um, and the ribbing. So it looks like a little bit different color. I don't know if you can see on the video. Yeah, it's all like a little bit marled almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I love it. I just don't wear it all the time because the mohair makes it feel like fancy mm -hmm. and it makes it feel more precious. I don't know. No, yeah, I can see that. It was also my, very warm. Yes, <laughs> and my first sweater in like uh, more of like an indie yarn. Uh, and so definitely like the first time I was like, wow, this is how much I spent on the, the cumulative cost of yarn for my sweater. Okay. Let's think about this. Yeah. But, um, I mean, I love it. Um, and I feel like it's wears and I've washed it and it like is great. Um, but anyways, if you use mohair a lot, like I have two other sweaters or quantities of like mohair to hold with something else, but they're, they're just like Hobie. Um, mm -hmm. they're not as like fancy, but I, um, I don't know. Do you wear your mohair all the time? Does it feel fancy all the time? Ooh, yes. Let me know. Let us know. How do you do? You have everyday wear mohair. Yeah. Or, I mean, or sorry, I guess maybe. Yeah, I guess like, I mean similar. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, I am wearing my Azor sweater by Orlane of Tech Besh Knitwear. Um, I posted it recently on my Instagram, mm -hmm. and I was surprised by the amount of of love I received on it, but I do really like it. I wear it a lot. I would knit it like two and a half years ago, um, which is crazy to think about. I love that I can still wear it. Um, was it your first color work? Yes, this was my first color work um, sweater. I don't think it was my first color work project. I think I did a cowl before. Um, but yeah, my first color work sweater and it's fingering weight. I used the recommended yarn, which is Mondim by um, Rosa Pomar. And um, I don't know what the colors are. I don't think they're available anymore. We were just looking at it this morning and um, yeah, I don't think they're available anymore, but I actually sized up accidentally. <laughs> um, I accidentally somehow knit like the yoke in the size medium. So it, it is more ease and recommended. So it might look a little different on me than like in. But like I love the fit on it. Like the neckline isn't too big. Thank you. I really, yeah. And I, like, I really also it's it. like less cropped than I feel like a lot of times you make things. Mm. So it just has like a really nice fit on it. See. And it looks like brand new still, even though you've Yes, like, that is something I, so I do wear this all the time. I don't think I've ever depilled it. And um, like I haven't worn it as much this year, but for a long time, like it was one of my only sweaters. So. I know. I was like, "Excuse me, where's the sweater? I haven't seen it yet." I so know. I brought it out. But that's what I, I saw. Yeah, I feel like it wears like a really. I mean, there's some pills I just picked off, but I feel like it wears this what? yarn wears really well. Answering him, she was talking about how their yarns don't pill, which like I don't really know how oh. that's a thing, but that's what she was like saying that they that's funny. That they don't or something. I don't I don't know how that works, but okay. she was saying that they are less pilly. You have to send me that because I. 
shared in a previous video that I used Vovo again mm -hmm. and that that sweater I was like it hasn't pilled like it I just I love this yarn I don't know my sweater has worn so well so I thought it'd be a good investment to get another sweater's quantity yeah interesting okay I know because she was saying in her Instagram stories that like I'm pretty sure this is who it was that she doesn't have shop samples whatever in the shop it's just like her sweaters oh, and wow. so she rotates them out she's like yeah they, they don't show where they look new wow. so very cool. Okay. Know. If you know why, let us know. <laughs> Portuguese, Portuguese wool is, uh, it's really good, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So anyway, um, now we're going to talk about what we are working on. So did you bring your I did. work in progress? I one did. of them you might have. No, I actually only have one thing on my needles right now, which is kind of stressing me out because I had like four things on my needles until recently and then I like took finished everything else and now I only have one thing and That's I amazing. Like, I mean it felt I was stressed when I had that many things but now that I only have one thing I'm like I can only work on this. Mm, that yeah so that's true. I'm thinking about casting something else on. Okay. I haven't seen it. Wow. I don't know you oh might have gosh, to remind me who the designer so is. Pretty. But this is the Everest pullover. I can't remember it's Everett. Everett. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh my the gosh, Everett Pullover. So wow. I'm not 100% sure who the designer is. I think it's, is it Jess Jacobs? Or mm. is it her sister? Okay. We'll put it in the description. I don't know. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. And then I have, I'll hold it for I'm you. making a size small. Guys, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. This is like the swatch. So after it's like been blocked and I'm really happy with it. It's my second foray into cables. I made Hannah's, um, Micah's Raglan for my first mm. foray into cables because I was really intimidated by cables. Um, they look absolutely beautiful. I'm using like, the discontinued Cloudborne fibers. Um, I bought it off of yarn.com, probably. It has like a nice little halo. Yeah, probably like a year or two ago. Um, I was hoping for something like a little bit more brown and so a little bit orangier than I was hoping. No, I, I mean, I don't know if the light is capturing it well. It's like a perfect pumpkin like or like a pumpkin pumpkin spice that's yeah. what I feel like a yeah. pumpkin spice donut but <laughs> but it actually like matches your cabinets oh <laughs> cabinets um but I realized when I was knitting it that it's like it looks exa almost exactly the same as um the echo view fibers that I used for mm. my you use a lot of discontinued yarn cal cal calliope calliope yeah, um, because I believe in sales, and I um, mm -hmm. I have a hard time spending full price for yarn, I guess, so that's why. Oh, it wasn't a bad commentary. I just realized <laughs> that. Um, um, yeah, I understand. But, um, yeah, so it's the same. It looks the, like when you see them separately, you don't think they're the same color. Mm -hmm. But when they're next to each other, they look really similar. Although this is definitely more orange, and that's definitely more pinky red. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a red rock yeah. Like clay. Yeah, yeah. And so to me, pumpkin. they didn't, I didn't, yeah. yeah. But then when you like, I was wearing it, knitting it, and took a picture, and they looked, <laughs> but that's okay. Where does it end and begin? I used to think I was like a neutral person, but I'm wearing a pink sweater, knitting an orange, orange sweater, sweater, talking about a red orange sweater, so. It's the sale yarn. <laughs> it is, it gets me. Um, I'm making a size small because my gauge was a little big, and I was mm. debating if I was gonna make a small or a medium. I'm usually like, definitely a medium, but I decided to go with a small because my gauge was a little bit bigger, so. Nice. We'll see. It's also my first, well, hopefully my first successful bottom-up sweater. Okay. Um, Definitely going to be successful. Successful, yeah. I've made other ones, but they've all been ripped up, so oh, no. I don't I have. didn't realize. I knit the rift oh, twice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And took them out both times. I forgot about so, that. So, <laughs> that's on my maybe to knit list. I don't know. Okay, so what is on my needles? I think I, I shared maybe two weeks ago that I'm doing the um, pattern grading boot camp um, with Julie at work. So I am working on my sample for that class. So um, this is it. Ooh, what yarn are you using? I am using Cascade 220 Worsted. Mm. Um, I got it from Freeman's a while ago. I really like this color. Usually I like let Ollie pick the color, but this time I picked the color. <laughs> I promise we don't have beige children. And even if we did, it would be fine. Like no judgment if your children only wear beige, but. It's true, did you, like yesterday my Instagram, I think Hannah shared it, that oh, I, yeah. um, my child was wearing like every color possible, <laughs> but somehow it like kind of. Matched. It went, he was wearing like navy pants and a yellow sweater 
and his hat scarf. and his hat matches pants it was also yeah his hat, yeah his hat is like navy but it's yeah it's a variegated yarn, mm -hmm. so it's like different. But his pants were too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, and he had his like okay. He did have like a tan scarf on and a tan satchel, but it felt like a lot of oh, color. Oh, a satchel, yes. But. Um, yeah. So anyway, this is the this is like Irish mm -hmm. cream, I think. So yeah, I like it. Yes, this is my sample for the class. So I'm doing like grading and yeah, maybe since now I'll know like how to grade for adults, then maybe it'll. Oh. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to say that. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Yes, so this is what I am working on. I love the the cables. I really have turned into like a cable person. I think I always have been, but it's really starting to come out more. Um, um yeah. Wait, am I feeling like were you a little bit inspired by your flax that you were wearing the other day where you added yes. the cable panel to it? Because yes. looking at it now, I'm like, wait, this looks kind of similar. It's the same color. Yes, yeah. so I knit um, a flax sweater by Tin Can Knits, one of my first sweaters, and it has similarly like a cable panel down the center and on the sleeves um that you added the pattern doesn't have a cable right so i added them um just for like a little bit more texture or whatever and i got a lot of like dms about it asking you know what cables i use and things like that and then i was like why don't i just put it and like it's different it's a drop shoulder and it's bottom up i think it's gonna be beautiful i think i'm gonna need one more though so we need to go to freemans <laughs> i have a pickup order from freemans anyway okay. so i need to go um, um I okay. needed buttons for, I finally finished, um, I'll post a picture of it, but finally finished um, my very late um, test version <coughs> of Hannah's um, vest, the fluffy vest. That's okay. That's and so uh, I needed buttons and I don't know if my son's going to wear the vest, but I picked out cat buttons for him. They're like a silhouette of a cat head in like clear, like iridescent acrylic. Resin, acrylic. Yeah. yeah. And so um, our local yarn store had them. But I haven't been there to pick them up. But I was like, had to order them to make sure they didn't sell yeah, out or something. Yeah, for sure. So. Only like three cat buttons and one regular button. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're going to talk about the questions that we got. Yes. I put a question box up on my Instagram. We'll do this again, like maybe whenever we can get together again. So maybe a couple months. But <laughs> I mean, we get together all the time. But um, so if you have another question for us, just leave it and we'll, we'll answer them again. But, um, okay. So the first one we got was, um, have you ever done a knit along together of the same project? And if so, which project? Um, I'm going to say we haven't done like a formal knit along. So, um, this one came from a, well, I'm just going to say Kelly, if you're watching, hi Kelly, this came from Kelly and she and her sister do, and her mom they do like the Stephen West knits knit along. Oh, wow. Um, like every, I don't know if it's every year, the last three or four years. And so Nicole, actually her sister has a YouTube. She posted a video of them talking about it. So oh, wow, that's intense. Yeah, like a very intense knit along that they do. I love watching Nicole's channel. Anyway, we have not done something like that. Um, but we did, you You made a vest pattern and we knit it together. That's true. I and made, then yeah. we tag team knitting one for our mom. So all like the two of us and our mom do have the same knit yes. um, and we knit them at the same time. So it was kind of like it sister, was. sister knit along. Yeah. But I feel like our moms turned out the best. Yeah. Mom wears hers a lot. It looks really good. I don't think either of us really like. I wore mine a lot after we made it, but I haven't worn it, I guess, was that two years ago? A year ago? A year, a year um, ago. ago. Yeah. 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 I should pull it back out. I think it'd be good for right now. So the weather is so. I think mine was like an issue of yarn. I tried a new yarn with it and. It doesn't wear that well. Oh, I can remember it was. And the color is a little bright. It's like. It's like maroon. Yeah, I don't. I mean, yeah. We'll see if we have some pictures. We can show you guys. So. Yeah. Yeah, we did that. And that was really fun. Mm -hmm. We should do it. Yes. In the same sort of similar, um, we got one that says patterns you've both knit before. Mm -hmm. So we have knit a lot of the same patterns. Basically, but... I copy Hannah. She <laughs> makes it. I'm like, oh, I love your sweater. I need to make it too. Um, this one's next, right? Uh, I'm a little intimidated, but you, no, you, yeah. yeah, you should. Yeah. We'll, anyway. We'll think about it. Um, yeah. So we have knit, um, mm -hmm. some of the same patterns. The first one we did, well, we did sweater number eight. Oh yeah. I forgot about that one. Yeah, I gave yeah. mine away. <laughs> yeah. She gave hers away. I still wear mine, but it was definitely a learning, like, for both of us. We yeah. Lot. Um, I love, like, I think the construction is really cool, but I definitely made a sizing error when I was trying to figure out which size to make, and so, um, I mean, part of that is the, pa the pattern. Yeah, the way it's designed, like, if you, when you go up, then, like, 
it, it just it wasn't it just my underarms were like at my elbow and I didn't really like that and I also used a different yarn because it was on sale and I decided that it wasn't my favorite yarn so it was a combination and the color anyways I gave it to a friend I don't know if they wear it but I was like I know it's not going to get worn in my closet so I think it'll fit you better That's and fun. the colors really definitely her colors more than mine so I'll have yeah. to follow up and see if if she's, she's worn it. She can be my sister. <laughs> we are all sisters. Um, I mean, I thought it looked great. And you wore it for a while and we all loved it. But if you're not comfortable in it, you don't need to keep it. Yeah, I mean, I liked it. I just think it's like, I really feel like you would get more wear out of it. I gave it to my sister-in-law. Yeah. Um, and I was like, so we'll yeah, see. I'll have great. to ask her. That's kind of what I do with my sweaters that I don't love is I give them away. So I don't have to like look at them sad in my closet. I don't know. <laughs> all the time that you spend on them. No, it makes sense. Um, and then the tilled. You made a oh, tilled. Oh, yeah. We both made a tilled. I loved your tilled so much that I was like, I'm making it. And this yes. is the fastest I've ever knit a sweater. Like, I forgot you knit that so fast. No, I'll, mm, you have to send me a picture. I'll put a picture in of ones we both have. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So I made a tilled in purple. And that's when you were pregnant with Micah, like a long yeah, time Yeah, you made like it for three, or three and a half years ago. Yeah. And then you made one mm -hmm. this year. Last year. Last year. Last summer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel like it would be interesting to see them next to each other because I still feel like they're very different because of the yarns. Because mm -hmm. I used like a a cotton wool. Yeah, and I used Portuguese wool. Yeah. <laughs> that was my Vovo um, yarn from Rosa Pomar. So, yeah. Yeah, I do think they're very different. The drape is very different. Mine is very stiff. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm like, I love mine, but I'm like, I still, it's still a different vibe. Oh, I was yours. just thinking how much I like yours. And yours is white. It's like, oh. So good. It was Great. also on sale yarn, but it was a great on sale yarn choice. It was a great yarn choice. Yes. yes. It's hard to know. Hit or miss. Um, oh, champagne cardigan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And we both like, those are like daily wear. Mm -hmm. You, mine still has that stuff on it. Oh. I haven't yeah. watched it. <laughs> you talked me into knitting it. We started it around the same time and mm -hmm. I like quit <laughs> for like a year. Yeah. And then you talked me into picking it back up. Yeah, it has been almost a year since I made mine. Yeah. It's been a year since. And then I picked it back up like right before Christmas and finished it. Yeah. Yeah. I kept bugging her to like, I was like, how's your champagne cardigan? And I'm like, I even, she like made it through like the sleeve split and everything. Mm -hmm. and I don't know why. It's a big deal for like a cardigan. It feels like. Um, yeah. I don't know why. I just forgot about you it. You finished it in like no time. Yeah. Yeah. I super, super cropped it. Mm. Um, I don't know that I would know that from the pictures. Or like I don't think so. I think you can only tell, like, if I wear it. Like, it looks great with dresses and with, like, high-waisted pants because it's pretty mm -hmm. much all I wear, which is why I cropped it. Because the only ones online that I'd seen that I didn't like were the ones that were... Full length. Yeah. yeah mine's cropped, too. Yeah. Um, Just because the way it's designed and, like, my waist-to-hip ratio, I just didn't mm -hmm. think it would look um how I wanted it to look. Yeah. Um. Oh, we've also knit... A lot of my patterns <laughs> yes that's true <laughs> i forgot we've knit classic crew we both have those mm -hmm. the boys have those they both have satchels mm -hmm. they both have bear hats we both knit the micah's raglan but micah doesn't have a micah's oh raglan. yes we've knit micah so basically you've knit my whole <laughs> pattern catalog <laughs> i haven't made the lovey oh yes yeah, so there's bear lovey oh yeah we both did the fluffy mm -hmm. vest mm -hmm. and cardigan set I'll have to get, um, once I get my buttons, we'll have to get pictures of them matching. Yes, together. Yes. I, I think and then be great. when my get outgrows his, which I made it like, Caleb was like, my husband was like, that's really large. Like, is it going to fit my get? And I was like, I don't want him to outgrow it. <laughs> you can wear it all, like, you wear it spring because I feel like the bouquet is warm, but it's so light. Yeah. Like, it's very light. But I was going to say that uh, when my get outgrows his and Ollie outgrows his, then, you know, Ollie could probably wear my Yeah, gets. especially it's purple with the yeah. like, hat buttons. It's going to be so good. <laughs> So good. Um, um, okay, next question. Um, let's do guess each other's favorites, favorite finished objects. Okay, so I'm going to guess what your personal favorite yes that I've object ever done yours is. Mm -hmm. Um, if I had to pick like this moment, mm -hmm. I don't know. It'd kind of be um maybe your lento. Oh, yes. I don't know. I wear that so much. I just feel like you love yeah. it. But it's a I little, have... like, atypical for you because it's such a simple knit. And yeah, you're not a... really a simple <laughs> knit person. Yes. A part of it is the yarn, I think. I love the yarn. I have a Lento in this, like, it's Isiger Eco Soft. Isiger Eco Soft. And yes, it's, I really love it. I bought this yarn to try to copy her. <gasps> oh, my gosh. She brought it. Okay. Um, this is Abby's next cast on. I don't think I have the yarn tag with me. Um, it's 
it's cascade um like arrow yeah it means like light bubbly yeah um cascade wool and i um yeah it's my budget answer to hannah's <laughs> issachar <laughs> Okay, mine um, was gifted to me. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just saying, if you're looking for a budget option, this yes. is a very nice, like, the difference is... Um, it's still blown cotton. No, it's 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 not cotton. Okay. It's nylon. Okay, mm -hmm. that will be interesting, though, to see how yours grows, because when I blocked mine, it didn't grow all because of, the, like, the cotton, I guess. It did grow. Mm -hmm. Yours did grow? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. It, um, I knit a holiday slipover mm -hmm. for one of my sister-in-laws out of it held double and it was oh it's beautiful right and i like sometimes with like a bulkier yarn i feel like your project can be stiffer maybe mm -hmm. oh, but yeah, that was it nice. was so like still movable and like soft and the drape was good yeah i think it was my first time holding yarn successful time holding yarn double to knit mm -hmm. something and i was really pleased with it but anyways That's great yeah, but you're gonna make one now. To be clear, yes. Hannah inspires a lot of my knits, and I want to copy her oh, with sweet. her lento. But I guess you didn't tell me if that was your favorite or not. I mean, okay, I saw this beforehand, and I was thinking about like what is my favorite. And honestly, like I don't know that I have a favorite. Like I think it changes like every year, and then I mm -hmm. like I wear them differently or I style them differently. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I think the potential, the one I just finished has the potential to be a favorite, the pink one, but I haven't really worn it because it hasn't really been that cold. I was actually thinking that. That was the other one that I was debating between. Oh, but yeah. I was like, honestly, I can't remember what that pattern was called. Oh, so. yes. My canvas. It's in the last, the last oh, video. Oh, yes. I think yes, it's your canvas. Okay. I, but yeah, that's a really, I think that probably has gotten the most worn the most quickly yes. like, of my mm -hmm. knits. So I would say that's a great. Mm -hmm. um, yours? I think it's this one. Oh no, it's not your reaction. It's not that one. I don't know. I, when you made that, you were so happy with it. That's true. That's so true. I do love it. So, but you okay? I think it's the same. You have so many good ones. I feel like you either love them or I you get rid of them. Send them out. <laughs> and so, so true. you you wear your calliope all the time. I, I love that one. It's it's like so. It needs to be depilled, but I just love like even though it's a little pilly, it doesn't mm -hmm. feel like it's decreased. Like it's sturdiness at all uh -huh. or it's beauty i mean that one is so pretty i i do want to make that one i think you totally should yeah um but also you're tilled you yes finish and wore like that might be my like it's just like a great everyday sweater and you wear your champagne cardigan all the time i do i don't know that one i need to remake with a nicer yarn i think mm. um that's when I think you can make one every year and then you just have them in your closet. Like. That's so true. I just went through my closet and cleaned out and got rid of like almost, almost every non-handmade sweater. Oh, wow. Just because I just don't wear them. Yeah. Because there's like, oh, I just don't really love this color or it just doesn't fit how I want it. And I'm like, well, let's get rid of the space and <laughs> And pass remember them along. what you do like so you can make it next time. Yes, that's yes. true. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, I do love this. I think like, Yes, I do love this one. No, but it's okay. I can well, be wrong. I, no, I don't know. I was like, in my head, I was thinking my tilled. Yeah. But if I was to think about what was like, when I felt the most accomplished and like, mm. it would yeah. probably be this one. Like, my tilled is my most worn, but this would probably be like, oh, this is like the most special favorite. Yeah, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. um, just like, I think my mom gave me the yarn for maybe oh. Christmas or mm -hmm. birthday. Birthday, yeah. Um, makes it extra special what is your favorite thing that i've made mm, that's a hard question oh no you know what i absolutely love what do you love i love your um that raglan that you made in linen and quill oh my lightweight raglan yeah paper. okay i don't know why that's just like one of the first things you made mm -hmm. and i just like it, it was really like it i don't wear it that much no. because i um it's it was a bottom-up sweater and i was in a phase of just like having a really hard time knowing what size to make and I didn't measure myself I don't know why but anyway I the, it is so big on me <laughs> so it doesn't really get a lot of wear it's great I think I'm gonna wear it a lot to the beach maybe oh you could just leave it at the beach oh yeah that's a good idea yeah so that, I think that's that. definitely a great like I it's think... flowy and open I love it's in the linen quill you need to make that you can just wear it over oh my god you just wear it over a swimsuit and like shorts yeah. and be really cute. And not worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was also a sale color. Okay. Yeah, because the color's like not 100% you anymore. Yeah, it's bright orange. I thought about gifting it to a friend. 
Can I be saying Kim Kim? That's who I thought about. Okay. So, yeah, if you're watching Kim, <laughs> you can try it on next time we come over. Um, yeah. Okay. So my favorite thing that you have made, honestly, I think it might, I mean, I love these mm -hmm. and I love how you love them. Mm -hmm. Like that you feel confident in them. Currently really loving your Sophie scarf. Oh yes. Me too. I actually have We're kind of just touching on garments here. Not really accessories. Should I go get it? Yeah. I'll get it. Mm -hmm. um, I love it. I've worn it. I wore it before I blocked it. I did block it. And so I think it got like a little bit softer. Mm -hmm. um, this is Cascade eco merino plus okay um it feels like the knitting for all of heavy merino okay mm -hmm. okay i think it's the same feel because it's like a little stiff that's what my champagne card mm -hmm. gets out of yeah so if you have that at home i would say this is a good was it dupe i was gonna say it was super on sale <laughs> yeah um i only bought one skein because i feel like green i knit a sweater in green and i didn't love it because the green was different online so i was nervous to buy more green and i only bought one skein of this and i love it that is a tragedy <laughs> and it was sold out when i went to look at her after i realized i loved it and so i bought like a sweater's quantity in brown because i thought brown was like a safer choice and i don't love the brown <laughs> Sad. Okay, um, but yeah, this is really yes, good. you're right. I, mean, I, I do love time. it. I do love it. I had it on earlier today. But love it. It was. I was gonna like gift it, but I decided that I needed it, so <laughs> to keep it. Yes, I'm okay, gonna make another one to it's gift. Beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Is this the scarf or the shawl? This is the smallest size of the shawl. Okay. And I went up a needle. Mm, okay. Um, yeah. Because my husband recently learned how to knit, and he was using. I think it's supposed to be on a size eight. And so we share my needles. And so I just like, oh, I'll use a nine. It'll be fine. Well, it turned out fine. Yeah, That's I think great. it would have been too dense on an eight. Mm -hmm. so. I think so too. It's pretty dense. Yeah. Beautiful. But yeah, I really love it. I did make the Sophie's scarf, scarf as well in the larger size. Uh, Who did you give that to? I gave that to Kara. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. oh, she got two She got two knits this year. Yeah. I know. Wow. Hannah's really inspired me. She's so generous with her gift knitting, and I, oh. I don't know. It's just not something I've ever really done. It kind of sometimes stresses me out, and so I, I, I don't really do it. But um, I just, m my sister-in-law was someone that was easy to, and I felt like that she would enjoy it, and um, felt like I knew her style. She's very on trend. Yeah, she's super trendy. Like, and Gen Z trend. Um, the holiday slipover, she actually like, already had it pinned on her Pinterest, and when I was like, oh, I wow. could make you something, and she's like, oh, I love these ones, and I was like, I can do that one. <laughs> I recognize that. <laughs> um, so. Oh, that's you. Well, you inspired me to try new patterns and branch out because I'm definitely like, you send me stuff all the time. You're like, oh, this would be cute, this would be cute, this would be cute. <laughs> and you actually got me into like the knitting Instagram world. I, when I started knitting again, um, I was not like, I don't know. I, I wasn't on knitting Instagram and you would send me all these things. I'm like, I gotta keep up, I gotta. <laughs> so anyway, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the, we have like one or two more questions. Yeah, um, I think one of them was like, who started knitting first and how did you get started oh, knitting? Oh yes, how do we start knitting and who learned to knit first? Okay, mm -hmm. so when, do you want to, I mean, you started first. Right? I mean, right, when I was like in middle school, I can remember sitting at your like upward basketball games knitting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, clearly that was very sporty. We were, um, those kids. Yes. Um, but I have this memory of my first project because I recently found it and I threw it away, which I really regret. I know, it was really sad. Really poorly made, like partially made yellow. I don't even know why. It was just, it was like a baby yellow color. So I was like, I don't um, even know. What were you making? Like a, like a garter scarf. I have no idea why. I made like, a lot of garter scarves. It just doesn't really, like never a color that I liked and so I have no idea why I chose that yeah. with like needles that were also yellow like the needles were like the same color as the yarn were you so, like really into yellow I, don't, I mean I liked yellow but I never liked that shade of yellow I don't think yeah anyways it was just a really sad project overall and it had like lots of holes and like the edges were wavy um and so that's like the first thing. Many design decisions were made. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. But my mom tried to learn how to knit to help me learn how to knit because I really mm -hmm. wanted to knit for some reason. Yeah, our parents were like really supportive of us. Like I remember one year we both got big like project bags. Yeah. We got like I got like lighted needles mm -hmm. and um you had, you were more into crochet. Yeah, at that then. point I had gotten into crochet. I like crocheted a lot of hats and things. Like Dishcloths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but we sort of like have had craftiness, like mm -hmm. when you were younger, our grandmother like came out and stayed with us for a while and 
taught my mom like sewing stuff. You guys went and mm -hmm. got a sewing machine and she kind of passed that on to you. Mm -hmm. And like, I think she tried, I feel like she tried to teach you how to crochet. I feel like she did. I have this memory that she tried to teach me how to like knit and crochet, but I couldn't remember if I that was like did. true or not. No, I definitely think that's true. I was too little. I mean, you never too I mean, little, but. Yeah, I mean, my, my son is literally loves like knitting and he, whenever I tell him that I bought this yarn to make something for him, he's like, no, me do it mean it and so he thinks that he's gonna like pin himself a hat and a sweater and he's like told me what yarn he's gonna do it with and so he has like done a couple of stitches like with my guidance on things because he's just really loves it so that's so sweet i mean i think two and a half might be like a little young but yeah, like, we were i was like five so you yeah, were like definitely. three mm -hmm. so we were little for sure but yeah um, that's definitely where a lot of it comes from mm -hmm. it's like the the legacy, the memory, mm -hmm. that's all there. But mm -hmm. then, yeah, we kind of got, I mean, I definitely had like a middle school knitting phase too. I remember making butterflies, like on the course field trip, knitting some butterflies. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, we got back into it like in college, after college. It was like at the end of my college. You were I feel like out. you were in college. Yeah. I started sewing. Oh yeah. You've been, she is. I haven't sewn in like almost a year though, except for like firstly a sewist, yes. And yeah, then. but I yeah, I have a huge stash and a ton of sewing stuff, and that's what really I got back into. Yeah. In grad school, it was just like I got married. I went yes. to grad school. It was like a creative outlet. It was something I could control when my research was like never ending. <laughs> okay, but you, I feel like during that time period, you would come to school because I would see you a lot. Yeah. We went to mm -hmm. the same college. We were in the same like department. And you would have something new on like every day that you sewed. It was amazing. It was, yeah, I definitely went through a phase of really big creativeness, but I lost it after like when I was pregnant and had my mm. son, I felt like I just like lost my creativeness. My body changed. I was like, I don't know what size, what to make. And then I was yeah. like, I, I had a lot of like unsuccessful makes. I think that's super common. I feel like I see people, plus you have a child crawling around. Oh like, yeah, I was way anxious pins. about pens and things. Mm. It was That's so true. Knitting is like more mobile that's why like, you were knitting at that point mm -hmm. and i watched you and i was like oh that would be an easier thing to like take around with me to have around and yeah. just like also like size wise a little bit more forgiving or like mm -hmm. like a knitted like a like when you make a knit t-shirt as opposed to like a more fitted dress or something like mm -hmm. just a little more forgiving if your size fluctuates or something yeah yeah that's so true plus um i feel like you I don't know. You just needed something for like, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, yes. put it down. And, and yeah. Yeah. And I just didn't have my set, sewing stuff like set Well, it's there for way. you when you come back to it. Yeah. I need to get my machine serviced is what I'm telling myself is why I'm holding off on it right now. Okay, but yeah. <laughs> it might just be excuse. We need to go find some. No, I buy you yarn. I mean, fabric every year. I was going to say we need to buy you some more fabric. No, I don't need more fabric. I just need to <laughs> sit down. Maybe we just need to like a, maybe we just need to like. And take a weekend and take all our crafting stuff like to the mountains or the beach and just um you know have a crafting weekend yes. without our children <laughs> yes yes okay the last question we got was related to baby knits so we both have oh you didn't really talk about how you got back into knitting oh okay i got back into knitting um in college with my college roommate we like were just like looking for something to do together um, she was interested in knitting. I was interested in knitting because um, my mom had like sent me an article about like mental health and knitting and I was mm -hmm. like, oh cool. I can I can knit. I need mental health. Like, <laughs> um, And so we started going to this like yarn club that met on Sundays and it was super random. Did you know that? Yeah, you were at okay. that coffee shop, right? Yes. It okay, was yeah. Shop. And they were talking about things that we did not know like Stephen West. Like we did, like they were talking about going to Maryland Sheep and Wool and Rhinebeck and we were like, oh, that's like an intense what? knitting. Yes, it was very too. intense and we were like, oh, like they were very welcoming. Um, they didn't judge our yarn choices or what we were knitting. I was making a garter scarf um, and they were doing the Stephen West knit along. Um, so that was funny that we were there. I mean, it's um, great that they welcomed you guys in because, yes. I mean, if looking they at it, yeah, had it, it could have turned you guys off. really bad. And, like, looking at back at it now, I do feel like um, some people are not welcoming. Yeah, and they could have just sure. said, who are these young kids that are here and are asking us, like, who are these things? You know, like, yeah. they, it could have gone really badly. And it surprisingly, it didn't. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I did that, and then sort of, like, you were sending me things. It brought me back into, like, more fine knitting. Like, a lot of, like, sewists also knit, and mm -hmm. so sometimes I saw people that I followed sewing, doing knitting stuff, and I probably yeah. sent it to you. Yeah, I think you did. Um, 
like the line of magazines, mm -hmm. making magazines, mm -hmm. taproot, like those were kind of the introduction. Yes, for sure. Had, Cause they mm -hmm. have sewing and knitting mm -hmm. a lot of them. And so they have so many knitting projects in them. And I was like, just looking for the one sewing. Right. You were looking for the one sewing and then you would like, let me borrow them. And so, yes. yeah, I feel like that was a big, mm -hmm. like the magazines really brought us into that, that world. Um, Which is like sad because there's not, magazines I don't think are as accessible now as they were then. I spent a lot of time just like looking at the magazines when we, when I first was like, I want to knit again. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now for real, the last question we got was, um, uh, what is a good knit for mm -hmm. babies? What was actually useful for like first year of life and then mm -hmm. what yarns would you recommend? So it's a very uh, deep question. <laughs> Personally, I will say um, I knit my son a blanket and um, I use Pearl Sew Cotton something cotton pure cotton yeah, pure. yeah yeah yep and I made a blanket and it was great for tummy time he uses it now I was gonna get it but he's sleeping with it um it gets washed a lot it takes some serious hits and so it gets machine washed oh wow not dried okay <laughs> but machine washed like I saw the other day my husband had washed it and he had like laid it out on the carpet and put all the little points out because it has like <laughs> edges and I was like oh my gosh he is like learning it's so, That's sweet. so sweet yeah it was really sweet so I would say definitely like a blanket but you don't have to make a giant blanket like people are like i don't want to make you know yeah, it's, not, it's, not, it's not huge no it's not big at all like, it's, it's so very cute. it's like a square what, do you know what pattern it is or did you yes make... it's a pre-pattern chevron baby blanket mm. so i modified it a little bit um i think i have a video where i talk about it um so that was really beneficial and then we talked about hats hats i think hats like that's the only thing that yeah. i made for my son um i made him like the baby size of the ribbed Hat, the two by two one from Pearl Soho, also a free pattern. Um, and I like a cotton wool alpaca blend. Mm. Um, and he outgrew it really fast because I made like the baby size. And so then I made him the women's size. Mm -hmm. so um, or like the it. second to largest size. So he could yeah. wear it. Like, and he still, it was still when he was like under one when he like outgrew the baby size. Yeah. And so I, that's in a super wash sport weight wool. Um, and, I'm hoping he'll have it until he's like in middle or high school. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. So if you're a parent, you know, if, I mean, if you're around kids, you know, like I feel like kids grow exponentially. Like when I'm doing mm -hmm. patterns, like I always have like a newborn size, but honestly, because people ask for it, they want it. Like, you know, if you're making a gift, you want the cute little tiny newborn, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But if you're making something and it's, you know, it's your time or whatever, like, I would definitely size up. I mean, it's like I made Ollie a newborn hat and he wore it while he was in the hospital and for like a week and then it was too, I mean, it was too small. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely. Yeah. I made one for Ollie recently and I made him the 10 year size. It was my own pattern. I made him the 10 year so he and I can both wear it mm -hmm. because it's ribbed. Yeah. Like, I, didn't, I think like a ribbed hat because it can like, the reason I made him that size is because that's the size that mine was. And he, like, started wearing mine. I remember And that. so I was like, I want my hat back. Mm -hmm. So I just made the same size because, like, mine stretched out more because it's, like, 100% alpaca. Because um, it was one of the first things I made. And mm -hmm. I didn't know that was a oh, question of choice. Yeah, no. Um, but he, yeah, he loves it. And I'm kind of, like, a only one thing. He has, like, one sweater and he has, like, one hat. <laughs> he, but, you know, also the thing about kids is they'll... They'll take what, what's yours if they don't have it, right? Mm -hmm. You and, wear, like, you wear your scarf? Yeah, or... yes. He, um, my husband knit me a scarf number one. And, oh, was uh, our son loves it. And he thinks that any scarf is the one daddy made. Because <laughs> he told me, no, 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 daddy made this Sophie scarf, not you, mom. <laughs> like, that's really sure, cute. baby. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I mean, oh, that's really I, I feel like don't be afraid to make, like, adult accessories that you would wear or just mm -hmm. let them wear yours once they're, like, a older. little bit older. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he was two when he started wearing it. He could have worn it at like one. Yeah. You made Micah a pair of mittens. I don't know if you oh, made any yeah. for Ollie. I, um, no, I didn't make any for Ollie because he was like summer. more of a summer. Yeah. yeah. Um, he definitely wore them as a baby and he's obsessed with them now. <laughs> They're too small, but he likes to play with them. He needs another pair. I need to make Ollie some right now. Yeah. I mean, it's not that cold anymore, though. No, where did winter go? I'm like... No, we lost winter. Like, it's, like, <laughs> hot in here. I think my AC came on because it's, like, 76 in here. Yeah, I, I don't understand where the winter went. We had, like, oh. two days of winter at Christmas when it was, like, 20 two. degrees. Yeah. yeah. Was, but other than that, it's very disappointing. It is disappointing. I want to wear my sweaters. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, um, Yeah, in terms of... This is something I believe in. In terms of yarn, 
like fiber. Mm -hmm. There are like maybe best or whatever, like all these blankets cotton. But I personally think you can make them with anything. Like I wouldn't, you can't use mohair for babies under one because it can irritate their skin. I mean, you can, but it's not recommended. I feel like my child would have eaten it. Even now I feel like he like, yeah, it, 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 so you, the, like, it, he doesn't like hair in his mouth. So yeah. I wouldn't, for me personally, that's yeah. But, but other than that, I think you can use whatever you want. Like if I have testers that use like hand dyed, like Sorella and Mulberry for their kids because it's special to them. They want something special. Like, um, but if you're looking for something, you know, sturdy, like a super wash, Cascade 220 super wash. I mean, I use it a lot for my designs because it's sturdy and, but I think you can use whatever you like, mm -hmm. whatever you, you know, want to wear. They will want to wear too. So. I don't know, that's my soapbox. It's easier to buy like hand dyed yarn. It's like a smaller quantity. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Like, oh, this price was fine. Because... Yeah. Okay, when he's like in high school, I don't know. <laughs> You're like, honey, we have to go find the sale yarn. Yeah. Yeah. I found this yarn, now we'll find what pattern works with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, because that's sometimes what I do for myself. Yeah. Um But yeah, I mean I, I agree with Hannah that you know, whatever you like, I think you can make it work. And if you want to use acrylic, if you want to use wool, um, I'm not a huge superwash person. I don't use it very much yeah. um, ex outside of Cascade. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I do either. Because I used one other one and I just didn't really yeah, like the feel of it. Although this yarn is superwash. Is Rio's superwash? Yes, and I do love Rio's. Yeah. And my Cloudborn that I'm using for my Everett is superwash. Oh, okay. But it doesn't, I didn't know that. It doesn't feel, feel super like... superwash -y. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just personal preference, whatever you want yeah. to knit with. but. Um, and like whatever you're, I mean, people have like environmental concerns, so just use non superwash, it's fine. Or, yeah. you know, if you don't want to use, you know, animal yarns, just use cotton. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Um, yeah, this is a lot longer than um, we meant to intended <laughs> it to be, so I'm sure I'll edit some out, but um, you can make it into two. Yeah, oh, part two, part one and two. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I do think this was really fun, and we should come back on here because it's nice to just talk about bring this over it's nice to just talk about it and um if you don't have someone to talk to about knitting you can talk to us yeah send us some questions let send us, us know send us yeah. some messages well, abby's on instagram too um not as you don't post as much um i don't mostly just post whenever my son is wearing his sweater and i think it's just too it's, it's so cute so cute um he but you're on ravelry yeah i do you're try to i need to update my ravelry but i do use don't ravelry we all? and I, my projects are not up to date from the past, like since before the holidays, but before that, I was pretty good about it. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, we hope you have a lovely weekend. Okay. Happy knitting. Bye. Bye.